My dear friend, first of all, I want to thank you for your prayers. You know, we have had a big, big challenge here at Positive Christianity because we lost our whole mailing list. But we're back, and we're literally better than before. I want to especially thank those that prayed in a positive way. <laughs> we did receive hundreds of letters like this. I didn't receive my positive daily inspiration today. Is Reverend Chenoweth okay? Has he died? <laughs> and we just, I must look pretty bad doing these telecasts <laughs> in order for you to think that if you just miss one day. Uh, first of all, you wouldn't know if I died for a long period of time. I'm written way ahead, uh, 30 days or more. And uh, I, I remember once I was doing a seminar in Louisiana, which is close to Texas, and I decided to drive my motorcycle uh, to the seminar to the church. And I told them I was driving my motorcycle. Well, immediately their prayer team started to pray that I wouldn't end up in a ditch, that I wouldn't have a head concussion. <laughs> that I simply told that ministry, please don't pray for me again that way. Always see the best. And so many of you prayed and saw the best and I will be telling the story soon about how miraculous it is, how we're back, we're stronger than we were before, and how it all happened. Now, I'm going to talk today about the same theme, in a way, about having faith, about having faith in others. Now, you know, people do not always act the way that they should. And sometimes, let's be honest, many times, this is a great concern to us. It's difficult to see someone that we love pursuing courses of actions that to our mind can only lead to unhappy consequences. How can we in ourselves translate concern and worry over a dear one into positive help. Well, the place to begin, of course, is in our thoughts. We can change in our thoughts, I wish you wouldn't, to, I know that you can be and express all that God intends you to be and express. See, we all send out an invisible energy that helps or doesn't help. And you want, as a spiritual person, to send out the type of prayer energy that can uplift that other person when they're ready. The highest prayer that we can make for others is to behold them as they truly are. Spiritual beings having God's own spirit within them, helping them when they're ready in their free will, to change. And sometimes the negative things they're going through, well, that's a learning lesson too, as it was for me recently when we lost our entire mailing list. Having God's help changes everything. We may not know or they may not know how to proceed, how to go ahead, and yet God does. And we help others by having faith in them and faith in the power of God in them to enlighten their understanding, to bless them in every needed way and to guide them safely and surely into that that is for their highest good and their highest happiness. In Mark 10, 21, the Bible says something along this theme. And Jesus looked upon him and loved him. May we do the same when we're thinking 
about another, when we're looking upon them in our mind or with our eyes, may we have faith in the emerging spiritual self of those that we pray for. God bless you.